What's up guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you a much more simple um, platform script than the ones I have taught before. So let's get started. Make a variable, call this x val for display only, click on OK. Make another variable, call it y val for display only, click on OK. Great. Now we're going to say when clicked forever, we are going to say if key right arrow pressed then we are going to change our x val by one if key left arrow pressed change x val by negative one then we're going to sex set to x val to x val times um let's say 0 0.87 this will be our friction then we're going to say change our x by x val so now this variable will be affecting our movement now we can move smoothly with friction, but we don't have any wall collision yet. So we're decoding that. Next, we're going to say, um, if touching level, then we're going to change our Y by one, and we're gonna duplicate that, and again, and again. So see, now we have six of these blocks. Um, and finally, in the end, we're gonna say, if touching level, change y by negative six. This will be our wall detection. Well, sorry, slope detection. It's because, let's say we're in the slope here, we're gonna move, um, change y by one, change y by one, change y by one, um, until it's not touching the level, right? Or um, we have done this six times, but we're still touching the level. Let's say we're here. We moved, we've done this six times, but we're still touching it. Then we're going to move y by negative 6 again. And then that means we're touching a wall, right? So we're going to collide. We're going to say if, sorry, we're going to change our x by our x val times negative 1. So we are um, basically reversing our speed, right? Then we're going to set x val to 0. So you see now... Ta-da, we are colliding with our wall. We don't um, go into it, right? And um, the slope detection actually also works, but we don't have gravity yet. So we're going to start saying change y by um, y bell here. But y bell is currently zero, right? So we want it to be gravity. At the start of the script, we're going to say change y bell by negative one. So you see now we can, whoop we're gone. Um, let's bring it back to zero. Bring it back to zero. Perfect. Let's see, right here actually. Um, then we're going to say if we're touching the ground, right? We're going to say if touching level, then we're going to change y by y bell times negative one. Sorry about my computer worrying. Um, and we're also going to set y bell to zero so you see now um we can move and um yeah that's actually pretty good um then we're going to code in the jumping we're going to say change y by negative one say now this is very important we're going to say if key up arrow pressed and um we are touching the level then we are going to set our y bell to let's say 10. Well, how about 13 actually? Then we're going to change y by 1. If you want to learn the specific details of why these codes work, then please um, check out my um, How to Platformer series. In there, I will explain in depth on how to code a more high quality platformer. So you see now we can jump, uh, we can move around, we have collision, and yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Scratch tutorials.